Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about 10 summonable units in Dokkan that you can no longer get. I mean, I guess technically that would make them not summonable anymore, but at some point in the history of this game, they were summonable, and then later on, for some reason, and I decided to take them away from us. And right now, if you're watching this video and you don't have some of these units in your box, then there is a chance that you will never be able to get them in the future. I mean, of course, there is always the possibility that Bandai brings them back, some kind of like special event or a login bonus in the future. But as of right now, on November 8th, 2019, they are not available. You cannot get them. And I guess that would actually make them some of the rarest cards in the game right now. Oh, by the way, before we get started, let me give a big shout out to my boy Dark Warrior on Discord for helping me with the research on this video and just making my life a lot easier. I really, really appreciate it. And without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start here with one of the oldest SSRs in the entire game, the Tech Aura from Hell, Final Form Frieza, and this guy came out all the way back on JP on February 28th of 2015, and then for Global, they don't even have an exact date, it just says prior to October 30th, 2015. So at this point, I wasn't even playing Dokkan yet, but I do know that he is one of the original SSRs, and he is not available on any banners anymore. I don't know exactly when they decided to remove him, but you can do as many summons as you want, you will never pull this guy. And that makes me really sad, honestly. Not because he's good or anything like that, because he's really not, but just because I know that I'll never be able to complete my collection, right? If, I, if I'm one of those people that wants, and I am, that wants to get every single unit in the game at some point, um, this guy not being in any banners and not even being available for like purchase or anything like that in the Baba Shop, is a big problem. Let's take a look at what this guy's all about. Leader skill, tech types, int types, and STR types, HP and attack plus 20%. Uh, let's see, super attack is death ball, causes supreme damage, and passive is attack plus 30% at start of turn. So like I said, pretty mediocre. I mean, of course he is super, super old, but by today's standards, um, there are plenty of free to play units that are way better than him. And he actually has a Dokkan Awakening, and this guy is so old that he actually Dokkan Awakens into an SSR as well, which is kind of weird. Um, but I guess that was kind of the norm back then, maybe. Like I said, I wasn't playing the game, so I don't really know what's going on there. But he Dokkan Awakens into a Golden Frieza that's also an SSR. And the only thing that changes about this guy, like the damage multiplier is the same, the leader skill is the same. The only thing that changes is the fact that he gets 10% more attack on his passive. And his links change as well, and I think they actually change for the worse. I believe the old Frieza actually linked better. So uh, that is the tech Frieza. I know looking at the details, it's kind of hard to believe that he was a summonable unit, but he is one of the original SSRs, and he is um, no longer available, which really sucks. You know, if there's anybody out there watching right now that works for Bandai or has connections, uh, tell them to put this Frieza back, because I really, really want him. All right, next up we have another tech unit, and that is the Tech Sinister Scientist, Toa. And she is one of two Xenoverse units that are on this list. And uh, I don't know when they removed her either, but I do know that nobody has pulled her in quite some time. And of course, we did get a new Darkness Toa for the Dragon Ball Heroes banner, but that doesn't mean I don't want this Toa either, man. Like, I actually really, really want this unit. Its leader skill is very unique, recovers 500 HP per key sphere of a character's type gained. So for some units, this is actually a passive, but for her, it's a leader skill. That's cool. Super attack is bloody sauce, extreme damage to enemy, and greatly lowers defense. And her passive is amassing more Kili, key plus two for all allies. So she was a support unit. Um, unfortunately, not a very good one. And she also never got a Dokkan Awakening, which I feel like she deserved, but I guess at this point, it doesn't matter too much because she might never come back. So uh, yeah, that's number two on the list, guys. Tech Toa, another unit I really, really want, but no longer can get. All right, next up, number three on the list is Physical Infernal Android Mira. And 
I do know that this guy was available on banners up until fairly recently because I think like late last year I saw my boy Scott pull a copy of him on like an LR banner or something like that. But um, when I was checking recent banners on Global, I couldn't find this guy on any of the banners in the general SSR pool. So I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, you can no longer summon him either. And of course, he came at the same time as this uh, Tech Toa as well. So maybe that's why. But I don't understand why Tech Toa is not available either. So you know what? I have no explanations. But he is no longer available too, just like the other two guys. And he actually wasn't too terrible. Physical types, attack plus 50%. Eh, I mean, you're not going to use him as a leader, obviously. But super attack causes supreme damage. And passive is attack plus 70% when performing a super attack. So overall, he's not like a awful unit by any means. He's not good. He's definitely not good by today's standards. But he wasn't terrible. And with the proper Dokkan Awakening... He would have been pretty solid, right? So, uh, yeah, hopefully at some point in the future, guys, they bring back Mira, they bring back Toa, give them proper Dokkan Awakenings, and then also just bring back the Tech Frieza, just for just for fun, man. Make him like a login bonus, or put him in a story event, or something like that, right? Just let us be able to get him some way, or put him in the Baba Shop, I don't really care. Okay, so those are the first three, and the next seven units, guys. I know this might seem like a little bit of like cheating, but I mean, it kind of fits the theme of the video. You'll see. The next seven units are all from the same banner, and it's from the Arali uh, crossover summon banner that came out, I believe, late 2016 for JP and middle of 2017 for Global. And what this basically was, if you guys don't know, is a crossover between Dragon Ball and um, Dr. Slump, which is the original manga that the creator of Dragon Ball got famous for, uh, Akira Toriyama, that was his like original big hit. So there was a crossover between Dr. Slump and Dokkan, and we got this banner with seven summonable SSRs. And the reason they can no longer be acquired is because since this banner went away, it has never come back. Yeah, I don't think it's ever come back even one time. So that's why these units can no longer be acquired. And that's why they're considered some of the rarer units in this game. So why don't we take a quick look at all these units one by one and see what they're all about. And I gotta say, some of these Arales with their Dokkan Awakenings are actually very solid. And some of the other units on this banner are pretty trash, but they're all very unique units that I want to add to my collection. So uh, yeah, let's start here with the physical Arali first. Full power salutation, Arali Norimaki, I believe. Uh, leader scale, all types keep plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 30% super attack. The regular one is Encha Cannon, I think that's how you pronounce it. And there's a 30% chance for it to get stronger and become Encha Cannon times 100. And look at this, she gets immense damage on the regular super, and then on the stronger super, she gets immense damage with greater power, which is a 60% boost to her super attack multiplier, which is pretty insane, guys. For a unit that came out in late 2016, uh, middle of 2017 for global, um, immense damage and 120%, did I even say that? Did I even talk about that? 120% when performing a super attack. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. And then links are Innocence, Mechanical Menaces, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Revival, Penguin Village Adventure, and she also has Fierce Battle, which is pretty cool. So that is the physical Arali, probably the best one out of the three. And next up, we have the STR Arali, which is Devastating Power Arali Norimaki. Leader skill is STR types, attack and defense plus 60%. Super attack causes mass damage to all enemies. So she actually was an attack all enemy. I don't think she was, probably wasn't like super, maybe she was, I don't know. I don't know if she was viable in like world tournament at all, but um, she does attack all, which is kind of cool. Passive unbridled power, attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 30% or above, which is not bad either. And links are probably very similar, I'm guessing, to the other Arali, and categories are probably the same too. So there's the STR one. Next up, we have the AGL uh, Cat Arali, I guess. Inpish, Inpish Innocence. Inpish Innocence. Arali Norimaki. Uh, leader skill, AGL types. Attack and defense plus 60%. Super attack is. I don't 
Keen? Uh, I don't really know. Supreme damage with a rare chance to stun enemy. Passive, totally pumped, attack plus 90% when key is 7 or more. So once again, very solid passive for the time. Uh, Supreme damage with rare chance to stun, that's also really good. So yeah, these three rallies, I think when they first came out, um, this was back when like I just started playing Dokkan, I believe, so it was like very casual for me. I don't really remember if I even summoned on this banner. But I believe when they first came out, um, they were probably really good at the time. So those are the three Arales. And next up are a few units that are also on the banner that are not as good, but I still want just because they're cool, you know? So we have Power of Politeness, Obachaman. Obachaman, AGL types, HP and defense plus 60%, Super Attack, Hello Cannon, Supreme Damage, and Passive is a Sincere Heart, Attack and Defense plus 60% when facing only one enemy. Um, if there wasn't a restriction, that would actually be a pretty decent passive for the time, but uh, since it's only one enemy, it's not very good. But um, there you go, Obocha Man. Okay, next up is Sour Man, Hero of Penguin Village. Physical types, HP and defense plus 60%, super attack, hand grenade, supreme damage, while sacrificing 7% HP. And this would be more understandable if he had a better passive, but unfortunately he doesn't. The Bravest Finger, when HP is 50% or above, key plus 5, and all enemies attack and defense minus 20%. I mean, it's kind of cool he debuffs the enemy, but um, he doesn't do anything else. Like, he only gets 5 key, he doesn't get any attack on top of that, so yeah, he's not very good either. But I do really, really like his art. I would love to have this guy in my box. That sounds kind of weird. Next up, we have... General Blue, dog, Dogged Pursuit. I think that's how the word's pronounced, Dogged, not Dogged. Dogged Pursuit. General Blue, uh, HP and defense plus 60% for int types, telekinesis is super attack, extreme damage, great chance to stun the enemy. Okay, that's kind of cool. Aces in hand, medium chance that all enemies attack minus 20%. <laughs> so it's a conditional, well not even conditional, it's just a chance, like it's RNG based where he may or may not debuff the enemy. Um, so that's General Blue. Kinda sucks. Next up is Ruthless Assassin, Mercenary Tau. Leader skill, tech types, attack plus 50%. Dodon Ray's and super attack causes supreme damage, and his passive is Declaration of War. High chance of attack plus 100%. And once again, this guy has such a good card art, man. Like I love like how like this is the only art that can make General Tao look badass, you know what I mean? And uh, that is, I think that's it. Yes, that's it, okay. So uh, those are all the cards I wanted to talk about in today's video. The last seven, you just saw the General Blue, the Mercenary Tao, the Sour Man, the Abocha Man, Abacha Man, and the three Arales are all from the Arale Crossover Summon Banner. And uh, hasn't been back since the middle of 2017 for Global, since the end of 20. Uh, 16 for JP and hopefully Bandai brings it back in some form because I would love to add some of these cards to my collection and then we also have the physical Mira, the tech Toa and also the original tech final form Frieza um, who are no longer in the general SSR pool so that's gonna do it for today's video once again thank you to my boy Dark Warrior for uh, helping me out with some research and let me know in the comments down below guys before you go whether or not you have some of these units, maybe some of you have been playing for a long time and you have all of them, in which case I'm super, super jealous because I don't have this guy, I don't have her, I don't have this guy, and I think I might have one of these Raleigh crossover units, but I'm missing most of them, so I'm like 1 for 10 on this video, which is really sad. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out